Hello, my fellow nuclear proliferators. I'm Mr. Church, and today we're going to be building the Mega Mansion Supreme right here, uh, near Horn White, Horn White, Horn White, what would you, you know what I'm saying. Let's put our camp down over here, uh, actually, like, right over here. I did change real quick a couple times there. Uh, I like to keep things fresh. Uh, today I mostly want to focus on getting a large generator uh, inside this mega mansion and that requires of course seven dollars you know in atom shop money and then let's make sure this isn't hanging off the edge because if there's one thing I can't stand it's people ignoring the laws of goddamn physics so what we're gonna do is just pull this in just grab it what you'll notice is your frame rate drops to one per hour and that's fine because who the hell cares about a smooth gaming experience? I don't. I'm playing Fallout 76. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to shove the large-ass generator inside those um, storage container things. These red things. Um, and it's going to be a bitch. So, let's get going with that. Let's take a look here. Does that look good next to this? Sure! Um, okay, so. What we're going to do is uh first i'm gonna put some doors down on this thing because i don't want to accidentally grab it and scrap it with everything i've built on top of it if you have some doors on it it won't let you delete it because then the doors will be floating so i'm just gonna put doors on it you probably you just need one door but i found that you can just snap a door here into the wall for no reason so i thought well look, that's good let's let's make good use of that so i came in here to see it looks good doesn't it, it looks great uh, but let's use the bugs for our advantage, you know? And uh, that was an example there of why I put doors on it. I almost deleted everything, but I couldn't. But I'm just going to change this out to... Not that one. There it is. going to change this out to the um, vault door. And we're going to make, like, basically a gigantic wall vault. Like a, a vault here. And we're going to put some maybe stolen Rembrandts in here. Uh, that we took from the graf uh, grafter? gardener art museum. I didn't do it, you know, someone else did that. I'm just saying, if we did take the paintings from the gardener art museum, we could put them in this vault here. So let's do that. Now let's just put this down here. Like, so. Like, it's kind of sitting in there against the wall. And we just uh, close that up. No one can steal our paintings now. And, uh, yeah. Now, I want to cover up that spot there where we have the vault kind of pushing through the outer wall. So I'm going to do the old classic stacking shit upon shelves trick. And don't you worry your little mind about this, because there's... Far better YouTubers that have done, uh, you know, shown how to do this, uh, so you, you don't have to worry that I sped it up as fast as possible. Uh, you basically just stack it on carpets, and um, you can slide it in there. I noticed that the shelf was sinking down here, though, so I put this big carpet here, so the shelf wouldn't sink down in to the ground a little bit, because that was being annoying. But what you're going to want to do once we're done with this is we're gonna get ready to put the large the and i'm talking about the fusion core generator in the uh in that red uh shipping container area which we're not really allowed to go in for some reason um because the, the issue with it is the large fusion core generator is too tall in the power nipple on the top that you attach wires to it 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 intersects with the ceiling which doesn't allow you to do anything so what you're gonna do is you're gonna put this outside attach that conduit to the outside with the wire attached all right uh this will allow us to have a snapping point for wires once we're inside so what you're gonna do is you're gonna uh blueprint this so just hold down on it with your power uh, action button and you're just it's gonna highlight that you grab that it's gonna automatically hi highlight the wire as well you're gonna name your uh, blueprint and something that you'll remember like I'm gonna name mine G 
Gen Z, you know, because I'm clever like that. That's really clever, you know, because it has nothing to do with the, the generation Gen Z. Now, here, use your the classic cooking station trick to get inside there, you know, I just put that on the edge of the foundation and then I rotated the foundation so that it was right there. So the spoon handle was pushing in, now we're inside. And now we just go to build Gen Z inside here. And you're gonna want to just stick it down. You'll notice there the top power nipple is intersecting with the ceiling, which means nothing can be attached to that, but it doesn't matter because now we can attach to this. It's a good day in the universe. Don't scrap this wire, by the way, or you're fucked. Not really, you can just build it again because we have it, uh, the blueprint for it. So now you're just gonna use your classic uh, rug carpet trick where you put down the carpet and then you attach a conduit and then you attach the wire to wherever you want it to be um, I'm not sure what the hell's going on here like I think I was just like probably um, singing to myself and so I wasn't really paying attention but I started I uh, realized I, I was probably gonna record this part so then I started you know actually doing something useful but then I was like, wait a second, after I've wasted all that time, I'm actually going to pull out a different uh, floor uh, carpet because this one will fit the look of the build better. It's a lot more scrappy than the rubber mat. And I'm going to use this because it's also scrappy looking. Attach it to the bottom one. Move the carpet once. Set it down. After that, you can move this wherever you want. It will not break the wire. Uh, so we can just walk out the wall. And we're going to head... Well, as you can see, it just works like that. But yeah, we're going to head upstairs, probably. Um, honestly, I'm not sure where I was going to build this, but it was probably going to be in here? No. But anyway, I just wanted to say to you all, you know, thanks for watching my videos. It's hard to believe that seven people sit down every day and watch my videos that fills me with joy and uh it makes me wonder like what could possibly be wrong with you but like i still appreciate it and also um to uh three subscriber jeff thanks for hanging around like i really appreciate that dislike on the last video and the one before it and the one before it as well because any little bit helps and your contributions do help people see my videos more um, and I know you said that no one wants to hear me bitch and complain, yet here we all are watching my videos yet again. And you know what's going to happen in a second here. We're going to watch and see the finished product. Now, because I built it here, there are, of course, you can build inside this little, this cool little cabin to the side. But it's a very difficult to build inside because the floor doesn't want to behave. I tried the blueprint trick with, with uh, sticking stuff down in here. It said it needed support or it sunk it all the way through the ground. But I did manage to put this cafeteria sign in there so you know where you're supposed to eat. Darth Crapper joined the team at that point, apparently. Which is always good. Uh, and then I came in here and saw that they have this vintage typewriter, which I think would look really good in my collection, so I stole it. And then I uh, came outside here, uh, and this is just, you could do a lot with this area too. I, I really didn't get into it with this video, but you, there's a lot that can be done with this backyard. I, I kind of fenced it in a little bit more, but I just wanted to focus on the mega mansion. So can we please stop jumping around like a fucking idiot and go over and look at it for once? Oh my God. Are you done looking at the fucking shed? You did nothing to that. Stop looking at it. You put a fucking flag on that and you call that a build? All right, let's look over here. Um, and then this, this is coming together well. Remember, brambles are your best friend. Uh, because you can't find any like, friends in real life. So the brambles will have to do the trick. So I came up here and shut all the doors and then I jumped back down by this murdered <laughs> dog because I thought it'd be a good effect if we approached it with all the doors closed. And then I could try to figure out how to open the doors with my 
heads up display turned off because that's always easy but kumbaya my lord and then load bearing started which of course shook and made me sick and i thought at first that i was having one of my epileptic seizures and i remember i don't have epilepsy but i do have a stroke sometimes when i speak and you just heard it let's go inside here and we're gonna look this is like a nice little place where we can just hang out at night there's probably not going to be any ghouls that come by and try to kill us while we're watching Top Gear on this show, which of course we're not going to watch that because it got canceled anyway. It will pretty soon. And now we're going to, if you want to come over here and have like some peanuts and popcorn and then drink some beer and watch white screens, which is better than the blue ones that we get to watch while we play this game, then you can just come down here and enjoy it. So let's close that, god damn it, and go upstairs and see what we can find. Um,. Of course, there's the melted wax on the seat, always nice, little lantern, chair time. And up here, of course, is so fun to clutter up. It, I think that it, it really uh, looks really of the world. And that's my favorite thing about this uh, prefab is it's, it's pretty cheap considering how much floor space you get. Like, I was able to fit all my crafting benches on just this level. We have this here. We can change the colors. But of course, it's more to look like we can, you know, run diagnostics on our power armor here while we're working on it. I'm sure that's a thing. Sure, why not? And then, uh, uh, yeah, we just walk up on the stair there. There's a bag of shit that I dumped and didn't pick up. Because who cares about having, like, a good-looking video for people to watch? And then uh, the shelf. Beautiful. I use this, uh, let's, I guess, bob our heads to the beat. Can't really hear the beat that well but i'm sure i did when i was doing that i used this sliding door because the other doors were kind of intersecting i waited till the last moment to put down my stove in here because unfortunately this stove comes with an annoying screeching woman uh that likes talking about ramen milk and, <laughs> and i just don't want to listen to that sometimes sometimes i don't want to listen to that so i uh i don't build it till the last second because then she just fucking decides she's gonna show up and start fucking talking and that's not something i asked for well turn those off so I use these lamps set them on the table and just find some sinky dirt and sink it down a little bit so they look like actual uh nuka colas sitting on the table there we have cappy watching us eating his fish there she is bitching there's our art collection in here the rembrandts we didn't steal and uh let's put that back um and come back outside uh close that um i would have preferred a different door there but as i said the uh, vault door kind of intersected with the edge of it and none of them really fit so we have this guy running for his life because he saw that i posted another video and then in here we have of course the bush behind a bush painting yeah, used to say I'd uh or no once. the bush in front of the bush painting uh, i get them confused it's like bushception back here we have little area to hang out while you're supposed to be sleeping but you're keeping everyone awake because you turn the volume up all the way because you're my roommate and then you come downstairs oh no we didn't come downstairs i lied sorry i can't tell the future is that so much of a sin jesus like lay off for gosh sakes but yeah i thought it was fun to build this and it really really it looks good in a lot of places and i think this is actually one thing that has been added to the store shop that i like it's good but thank you guys so much for watching thanks to my patrons thanks to three subscriber jeff and i will see you guys once i find this emote in the next video